Throughout the ages, compassionate enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele and video conferences. On December 9, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai answered the questions of our international association members who had come to Cancun, Mexico from different regions of the world to share the benefits of the healthy, sustainable, and planet-saving vegan lifestyle during the United Nations Climate Change Summit. We now invite you to listen to Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful discussion with our association members in Cancun, Mexico on December 9, 2010 titled, Be Selfless and Unconditional All the Time. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. so much for being all right. <laughs> oh, cake. Mm. <laughs> That's us. So you are still here, huh? Till tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Mm. I think, I think no question tonight, but if you want to, you can ask me. And I answer or not, that's another question. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, first of all, <laughs> I want to thank you guys, okay? I love you and thank you for all your dedication. And this morning I went to a uh, far village, visit some poor family, and uh, I have prepared some money, not a lot, maybe six, seven thousand U.S. dollars 
and the candies and cakes is extra, huh? but still not enough, so I have borrowed some money <laughs> from some of you. Please report, okay? To return the money to you. Capisco? Entiende? Bueno, thank you. So I don't remember who gave me how much, okay? I don't have enough, I just say, have you have some? Uh, here, here, thank you. <laughs> Give it to the children, no? And because they don't see us often, you know, so I want to give generously, not, not just ten dollars, you know. <laughs> what can you buy ten dollars nowadays? Just a chips, you know, or one cookie. <laughs> All right, loving. Master, we are so happy to have you with us here in Cancun, I'm Mexico. I'm also very happy, yeah. believe me, yes? <laughs> okay. There's no words in the human language that could express our gratitude to you. Thank you. Actually, thank you, Master, uh, so much for once again taking your precious time to come here, be with us, share your insights to help us better understand what is going on and what we can do to improve ourselves and the world. Uh, Master, recently you've been sharing with us a lot of new information. Actually, it's almost kind of turned us, a lot of us on our heads. Uh, it's yeah. very, very interesting. Really? <laughs> I have more. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's what we wanted to ask you about. Go ahead. Come. Tell me. Uh, actually, this new knowledge has raised in our minds more questions about additional topics. So with your gracious permission, Master, we would like to ask you to share with us some of your vast wisdom on these <laughs> topics, and we would be most honored if you would share with us, Master. Sure, sure. I do what I can. Mm. I'm just going to ask the audience, would you like Master to share some of her wisdom with us? <laughs> so let's begin with the first question. And actually, Master, I have a question. Please. Uh, Master, in previous conferences, you've mentioned that when we meditate, we gain spiritual points. Yeah. And it seems so little compared to how much we need to become a healthy human, which was 9.2 zillion points, yeah. or even to be a human. Yeah. So how did we accrue all these spiritual points and are there other ways, aside from meditating or doing good works, that have helped us to gain so many points? Okay. Or is it from maybe billions of lifetimes? No, okay, listen. If you are here already as a human being, yes, and you're healthy now, that means you already have it. I'm just listing how much it costs for each item, yes. But you already have health, that means you already have that zillions of zillions. And if you are already good looking, then you already had that. You see, we don't begin to earn it now, it's too late, baby. Look at you, your hair, gray. <laughs> and look at mine, gray hair. <laughs> you know, what I mean is, we are precious, yes? And you already have everything you have. Just please continue to refill your uh, spiritual bank account before it's run out, yeah? So if we are in bad health, that means our spiritual bank account is low. Mm -hmm. I do have that sometimes, I have to confess to you. Uh, if I am not working like in this kind of worldly Worries, yes, and I earn a lot more. But uh, for example, these days, uh, since I came here all together, I earned just about like five zillions. Yeah, and I lost a lot more. <laughs> because, because, because. So, but the thing is, I, I just list it so that you can compare or you know how much you have, yes? And mostly it's for the people who don't practice to remind them that they are precious and they should continue to refill their energy bank. Huh? Otherwise they think, what's the use? Why meditate and why the sun is good for what? And you know, you have to tell them like that in real term, okay? 
Instead of keep telling you vegetarian, you know, compassion, save the planet, <laughs> yeah. This is the time to tell them why. You see what I mean? Yeah. Normally, I just try to tell them, okay, please, just be compassionate, because it's good to be compassionate. Uh, save the animals, because you should be loving and kind. That's the way it should be. I shouldn't even sit there and tell them how much uh, point you gain when you save a chicken. <laughs> you know, how much you gain when you save a dolphin, for example. I should not even have to tell anyone like that. When I was saving a chicken, nobody told me how much point I gained. I just wanted to save the chicken. And when I adopted my dogs, not because I wanted to gain spiritual point. I did not know at that time, or at least not consciously, no, not searchingly know about it, you know? As the more question you have, the more information I become, okay? Or only when I need to know something, or when you need to know something, then I will search for it, you know what I mean? So this is the attitude that we should have. If we love a dog, we want to save a dog, not because we want point. Uh, we don't want to eat the chicken because I want the chicken to be alive and be happy with their children. That's the way it should be, you know what I mean? But now it comes to the desperate point, you know, tipping point of the planet. So I just have to tell them like that tell everybody like that, you know, like the last card. <laughs> no, I still have more, but not always concerning everybody. I keep many things for myself, of course. First, maybe heaven don't allow to tell. Second, maybe it doesn't concern people. Or even if they know it, it doesn't make any difference to their life. Yeah, okay? Thank you, Master. I understand much better now. Thank you. Okay. Yes. My God, but well, they were happy that I told them. Yes, they were. Right? Yes, yes they were. Why is that? <laughs> Why should we earn points when we save a chicken? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Ask me anything you want. If I know, I answer. If not, I go back and research. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, spiritual knowledge also needs research, time. Yes. See what I mean? Yes. Thank you. Master, good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, Master, the point that you told us, uh, that's for what we did in previous lives to earn the merit for this life. But could Master tell us what we can do now uh, to have more points, to become more wise, more loving, mm -hmm. become a person with more equality? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Okay, what I told you for the past is applying for the present as well. Okay? Suppose you already have good look, huh? then you don't have to think about that direction. But if you want to be famous, for example, then then you know how much you, you have to earn. <laughs> and if you're rich already, then we leave that part. We already earned that. Eh? But if you want to be rich now, then I have told you how much. I forgot already, you know. The information comes so fast, I just note it. You see, like in a small, small post-it stuff. And then because I'm coming here, so I, I tape them all in one page and then uh, I leave it at home. So all these I left at home. I mean, I have more, of course. This part for here, I take it with me. But at home, I left some more. The thing is, I did not dare to take anything with me. And after I left, I asked the assistant at home to email, see? Like, this is safe. It's still there at home, because if I take it, I might have lost my luggage. Some of you lost the luggage, you see? You want to earn more money this time? <laughs> yes, the same money, same. Meditation, meditation. And if you're lucky, you meditate under the spiritual blessing line or at the spiritual blessing line, then you have more. Yes. To get the most is you sit in the sun, 
between the 10 and 3 o'clock and at the spiritual blessing line and uh, next to the sea and put your feet inside the water <laughs> and your bottom on the sand <laughs> and around you should have forest and mountain <laughs> and at night you continue sitting because daytime the sun bless you at night you know, like that. So you have everything. And the best, your master also sit next to you, for example. Yes. Yes. No, together, you know. For example, like that. Then you earn fast. Eh? But I tell you what, <laughs> we have to compromise. I don't think we have everything in this life the way we want, huh? We wish, huh? huh? Even I don't have, you know. For example, if I go here, all day I'm busy, you know, from morning to night, I don't have time to even meditate a lot. At night, I came home, I'm very exhausted. Even I meditate, you know, I don't meditate very well. When you're too tired, tea and coffee don't work. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. By the time it works, you already <laughs> sleep already. <laughs> you're not aware of the coffee uh, influence. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you, huh? Mm. You're lucky because the Kuan Yin practitioners draw the most blessing among all the practitioners of all faith, of all kind of meditations. Yes, I'm not saying that because I teach this to you. If I know something better, I will teach it you. I teach myself as well, you see? Yes, so this is the best for now because it's direct contact. You know, the light and sound is the essence of God, of our real self. So if we contact with that, that's that. You see what I mean? Yes. Uh, don't worry if you don't meditate and go into samadhi, because you still have the point. But less only. You see, the reason why less, because, for example, you take a shower, but you just run here and there all the time, then you wet a little bit, but not so quick and rinse it all. Yes. And if you run too fast, too far away from the shower, then you don't get wet at all. So similarly, the spiritual blessing assimilated better when you quiet down, yeah? And then you store it. You see what I mean? Yes. For example, if this glass is here, and I want to put something in it, but it keep moving, you know, so then maybe a little bit or maybe none. But if it's still, then you, you, you feel it. And then you can use it as much as you want or as little as you want. But if you keep moving all the time, even though water is still running, it don't come in. Yeah? Or it comes in very little, and then you can't use much. Yeah? All right. Similarly, that's why we have to sit still and meditate, so that we can accumulate, we can concentrate all the blessing to store it. And then when we go out into the world, we lose some, we give some, yes, we protect some, we help some. It's uh, in a concentrate quantity. Yeah? All right. So that's why we meditate, huh? But don't worry if you sit in the sun, for example, or in the open air. It's in, in the open air, when you meditate, you get 59% more than when you sit in a closed building. Yeah? The thicker the building, the less, a little less, the concentration of the blessing. I don't know why, I guess the air gets stored, you know? For example, okay, uh, we have karma, you know, when we sit in the air, open air, then we will be recycled and run around and all dissipate a little bit here and there. But if we sit in one room, uh, all that concentration is still there. See, when, just like when you sit in the car and you don't open the car window, and the smell is different than when you open the car window and all the fresh air is coming and going. Same in the room, like that, okay? So 59% more if you sit outside. Yeah. You can more or less count your spiritual point according to the, the list that I gave you, okay? Like one hour in the sun, how much? Yeah? Uh, and the, the air also bless you. Check. Did I say that in the gala? How much percent I did? 
I didn't, but it has percentage. Oof. Even if you sit in a tent, you know, those small tent, the plastic tent you have, you get more spiritual blessing points than sitting in a room. But please don't do that on the street when you don't have any, <laughs> any yard or anything. <laughs> those uh, condo, you know, they build right on the street. Yes. You see, the river water bless you, the earth bless you. So I, that's why I say sit with your bottom on the sand and your feet in the water. <laughs> so you have both, huh? and a hole onto a tree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and under the sun, yeah. And so you say have wind, sun, trees, mountain, uh, earth, bottom, and uh, <laughs> water at the feet. For example, no? you get as much as you can. That's what you want, no? <laughs> what else can I tell you? Hmm. Also, being selfless. Being selfless is the source of blessing. I told you that thousands of times. So have to be selfless, okay? Yes. I have told you that if you see the Master, you know? Your Master, huh? I mean, your Master, any of your Master, any. If you have a master, if you see, then it's very good for you, of course. But if you're even willing to sacrifice that, then you have even more. Don't ever worry about that you lose out something. Never. Yes. I don't like to travel, but I did it. Just for the sake of the world, for everybody. Truly, honestly, I had to go to Cancun last time, two weeks before the event to, you know, check around, <laughs> clean it all up a little bit, and then I have to go back home. And then now I have to come back again because they invited me. You understand me? It was very difficult, heartbreaking for me to leave the dogs because they cry. They know when I'm leaving. Normally if I left my room, you know, bedroom or office, they normally hang around all day. <sighs> they have their room, but they never want to go there. They have bed, sofa, dog bed, human bed, Dog sofa, human sofa, all for them, so for the choices, you know? On the floor, on the bed, everything. But if they can, they just run to my room. And my room is small, so they have to sleep next to me, like in the office, next door, in the other room, you know, video room next door, and in even my bathroom, and in the corridor. Seven dogs, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> they can't even all sleep together, because some are not very well together. So I have to have one room for some dogs and another room for dogs. But as long as they know I'm next door, they, no, no problem. Even if I walk downstairs, they don't say nothing. But when they know that I'm leaving for a long time, they don't even know when I come back, they cry. They cry already the night before. They don't bark. They don't trouble. They just cry like, oh, yeah, really, oh. They cry all together at the same time. I just walk out the door and they begin. I talk to them and say, okay, goodbye, huh? I'm going away. I have to work, you know that. I have to work for the world, for you also, and for me, for everybody. But I come back, huh? And you take care of the living room. You take care of the bedroom. You take care of the kitchen. And you take care of everybody else. You take care of the birds. You take care of that. And turn them and take care of the house. And they will come back, huh? Everybody. They all sit in quietly. Yeah, like they know, and they, okay. As soon as I walk out of that door, oh! <laughs> All together, big and small. Like somebody say to them, one, two, three, now! Oh! <laughs> I was really heartbroken, you know? So I had to open the door again and say, hey, you guys, what's that? What's that noise, huh? I'm still here, see? Huh? I come, go, and then I close the door, and then I come back again. Hey, huh? I'm still here. Okay, you guys behave, all right? And then I run, you know. <laughs> when they're all quiet already, I run. I confuse them a little bit. They probably think, hey, we're wrong. She's not going. <laughs> and then they're all quiet, you know, and then I run before I hear it again. <laughs> oh, I don't hear nothing. Oh, it's so difficult to leave my dogs, more than any human I've ever known. Except my husband that time. Yeah, it's difficult to leave anyone when you love them. It's difficult. Yeah, but the dogs, they have the way to steal your heart. I warn you, if you don't have dogs, 
and then you, you better know <laughs> what you get, okay? They're more sticky than your wife, your children, your husband, lover, whatever, you know? It's very difficult to leave them. Hello, Master. Hello. Tell me. Yes, hello, Master. Um, hello. Good evening. Um, I have a question that it has two parts related to the spiritual point. Um, the first part is, do the spiritual points that we had before we were born determine who we will be in this lifetime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because some people are good looking, some people are not. Some people are rich, some people are poor. Some people are famous, some people are not. You see, different departments of our lives demand how much points, you see? Yes. And also the affinity, not just the point. For example, if in the last life, not only you earn spiritual points, but you also respect maybe a master or you praise that master very much, then you're born with beautiful face, yeah, and your voice will be very charming to people, and your mouth would look like a flower, thing like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Yes. Yes. So in this lifetime, for example, you're already born like that. And if you earn more spiritual point, it happens to be to the point, if you wish to be more beautiful, it will happen also, yes? Or it will enhance more of your, your beauty, okay? Right. Yes. Um, and the second part is, how does our willpower um, relate to the amount of spiritual points that we have, the willpower? Willpower. Willpower has nothing to do with it unless you will yourself to sit and meditate in the sun, the sea, and the <laughs> sand, and hold on to the trees, and, you know, in the forest, and surround yourself with tiger, lion, <laughs> buffalo, uh, 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 elephant, you know, uh, the bless you the most, crocodiles, bees, uh, beaver, foxes, anyone, any animals. See what I mean? Understand. Then you have all the best. And the fish in the sea also touch your feet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Difficult to find such a place, huh? Uh, where we have tiger up there and fish up here and, you know, sun and sea and uh, bottom on the sand and feet on the water and trees on both sides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the master sit nearby somewhere. Oh, wow. You're dreaming. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, willpower, nothing to do with our spiritual point. Willpower is from the mind, yeah? When we want to do something desperately, we must do it, must do it, and we pray, we try. That's willpower. Hello, Master. Hello. So nice to see you here. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question is, how is spiritual cultivation related to our spiritual point? Well, that gives you more points. The more you cultivate, the more you meditate, the more you have points, yeah? Okay? Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Where? Over ah. here. The master, master mentioned that to be a president, we would need to have at least 530,000 zillion points or like 700,000 zillion points to be king Is that what or I queen. said, yeah? Okay, whatever, yeah, and then, so, you want to be president? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a hard job, baby, hard job. Yeah, tell me. Uh, now, this seems to be a lot more like uh, just being an ordinary person, but how come some presidents seem like they make unwise or unloving decisions, such as going to war, if um, they must be such a good person to have that many points? Mm-hmm. Okay. The point to be a president is just to be a president, yes? It has nothing actually to do with virtue yet. You might happen to sit in the sun all day and earn so many points, or maybe in last life you earn a lot of points, but still you make enemy with someone else, or someone else make enemy with you. You see what I mean? For example, Jesus Christ, he didn't make enemy with anybody, but some people make themselves enemy of Jesus Christ. You see what I mean? Yes. All he taught was good things, yes? And he imparted spiritual knowledge and power to his disciples only. But people misunderstand still, yeah? yeah? Remember when you first came to Cancun, how hard it was? 
Yes, Master. Yeah. Until people take time to know you, okay? Yes. And Jesus never had a chance to let everybody know. All right. So, a president maybe he has earned that much to be a president only, but he hasn't got any left over for other things, okay? And then by being a president, he's forced to do things sometimes against his will because of the people around him or because of the prestige of the presidency, uh, because being a male, you know, ego, or because if he doesn't do it, then people don't support him, or because he has to do it to look like he takes care of his country or the people, etc., etc. You know, when we're born in this world, we don't always have the merit to be this, to be that, to be beautiful, to be famous, to be present, etc. But the mind, the willpower, is sometimes being swayed by the situation around us, our background, parents, yes, or peers, or countrymen, or our own position sometimes is even our enemy. Okay? It's very difficult to say. Or past life, they were each other's enemy. So to earn point to become president has not been enough to erase this bad karma. You see what I mean? Or he earned it enough to erase his bad karma, but the enemy has not erased their bad karma, and they still want to jump in to make trouble, and he has to react, and then create new bad karma. This is very tricky, very tricky for anyone who lives in this world at all, at all, at all. Very pitiful, very sorrowful. I think of human lots, and I cry a lot of time. I feel they are helpless against all kind of power around them. You know, the fact that you grown up until this age and still live and still healthy and good-looking, that's a lot of merit already. Because you know what? When you're first born, when you're a baby, all kind of elements, radicals, free radicals already attacking your skin. If you don't have, like, mother breast uh, milk, for example, to protect it, or some other thing to protect you, then you might be already gone when you were just born. Yeah, you were vulnerable to attack from all kind of things in the air, the bacteria, the virus, you know, the thing that's surrounding us. And we adults, we sometimes strong, more immune, but the babies, you know, their delicate skin is immediately attacked by radicals or elements, you know, they call free radicals in the air, you know. But uh, they say the mother's milk will protect that even. So everybody encourages people to feed the baby with the mother's milk. See what I mean? Yeah. It's a miracle that you and I still sit here. You know? Yes, every day you have to think. It's a miracle, yes? And you know why some people smoke and eat meat and they're still alive? With all the poison, they should have been dead long ago. Why they're alive? They earn the merit to live long from last life. They just shorten it by eating meat now, you know? And they damage their body, make them sick. Otherwise, they would never have had any problem. But this is a problem with the illusion of this world. <laughs> when I say Maya, please don't be offended, the Mexican. I don't mean the Maya here. <laughs> I don't mean the Maya civilization. I mean the Maya in Sanskrit. It means the king of illusion. Yeah, everybody is so deluded in this world. So difficult to stay. So whenever I see you, I feel you are miracles. <laughs> You're still alive, and you look good, and you're working, you know, and healthy, and run around, you know, invincible. Hmm? I feel you are a miracle, okay? (laughs) So, to have some kind of thing, and another kind is different, you see? He has earned to be a president, but he hasn't earned other things. Not enough, okay? Right. And besides, I told you also affinity, yeah? You see? For example, good-looking has not always because of point. But you must also have point, you see? And then together with maybe praising a Buddha, then it's together make you beautiful, huh? Okay? Or you uh, offer some flower to the Buddha, 
praise the Buddha. You see what I mean? Yes. And then, of course, you have more spiritual point as well. Then the together, it makes your appearance more strikingly charming than otherwise. Huh? Okay. Hi, Master. Hello. Hi. You look beautiful. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you previously have mentioned that um, some presidents has very low NQ, but how can they accumulate so like so much zillions of points to become like leaders of nations? Okay, okay, they have accumulated that before their NQ become low. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is in the former life, maybe they have meditated, maybe they have done something good, yes or even maybe offering something to a great master, and they earn that much merit to be a president, but no further, you see? Yes. And then when they come into this life, so I tell you, to accumulate merit is not always a blessing. Yes, I told you that. Uh, to earn any worldly merit is not always good for us. Because once you earn a merit enough to become a president, then what? You have power. You see? Power. And then you don't know what to do with it. Then everybody can use you to use your power to manipulate other things that may be out of your control. And you'll be swayed by this persuasion, yes. by all this uh, talking, and then you use your power for bad purposes or that you let people do it. You see what I mean? Yes. Or sometimes you're too tired of arguing, you just let it go, and then they use your power to make war. But you are also responsible, because even though you don't like it, you are the a commander-in-chief. See what I mean? Ah. And then from then you create a new bad karma, and then the cycle begins again and again. The next life you won't be president again, or you'll be something else, or you'll still be president, but go to war all the time. It's very, very risky to be in a high position. Right. Yes. That's why Confucius, you know, say that you must first <laughs> cultivate, yes, your own spiritual power. Then you can take care of your household and then you can take care of your nation, and then you can pacify the war. Otherwise, like you're standing in the air, you don't have anything underneath to support you, okay? It's a very risky and shaky situation. I feel sorry <laughs> sometimes for the leaders. Yes, they work so hard, but they don't have enough, sometimes not enough rest, not enough wisdom to take care of the right thing. Everybody expects something from them, but they cannot always fulfill. First, maybe they don't have enough power. Second, they don't have enough wisdom. You see? Third, they are swayed by surrounding situation. Yeah, and people, other people who have interest inside this kind of war, the people who make weapons, yes, the people who want to feel power or look powerful, yes? The people who are racist, yeah? People who want to make money out of it, everything can put the president in trouble. It's very difficult, very difficult. I wouldn't envy, I wouldn't want to be a president. Anybody want? No. I can no. give you some points. And you can no. <laughs> support you, you know? No, Master. No, thank you. <laughs> I will vote, vote for you with point. <laughs> okay. We're having some sign of peace already, no? Yeah, if you watch TV, you know, huh? Yes, we Master. having a little glimpse of peace. <laughs> maybe over there, maybe over there. <laughs> it's getting in there, huh? Um, I have a second question. Um, during the gala dinner, you mentioned just a very fast about the points of working in uh, Loving Heart and uh, Supreme Master <sighs> Television, and you didn't finish talking about it. Uh, yeah, because it wasn't for them. I know. It wasn't for the, the public. They don't need to know this thing. 
I was telling them for their benefit that day only, yeah? So they're not working loving hood, are they? No. <laughs> the cop 16, any of them work in loving hood? Nah. They go and eat in loving hood, maybe. <laughs> I check it out where I put it, okay? Thank you, Master. Ah, because you always ask me how much, how much, how much, so I have to look into it, huh? Hmm. I don't know where I put it, but it's somewhere. I'll find it. Be patient, huh? Be patient, patient. Work on loving hood. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Six to seven percent plus, yes. Work for Supreme Master Television. Did I say? Yeah? Work for a Supreme Master, like in a household. Uh, get 40 to 90 percent plus spiritual point. For like personal, like office, you know, for birth, for dogs, driving, etc., etc. Plus 300 percent, more or less, because near, near a master, yeah. Up to, no? 300 percent plus, apart from 40 percent to 90 percent plus. Got it? Yeah? Clean the dogs, feed the birds, yeah, clean the house. Okay. Okay. Got it now? Yes. Uh, well, why pay less? The initiate has blessing. Pay less. Master power gives 90% more. Something like that. But the non Vegetarian people benefit very little, even for all the nature of blessing us. But Kuan Yin practitioner benefit because we are vegan. Eh? Of all the blessing, you know, you get 60 percent. Then they get mm, almost nothing, <laughs> maybe one, two, three percent. Yes. Mm. The more you earn, the more extra spiritual point you have. It's like a bank interest, yes. Okay. Master, do we have to have uh, enough points to, uh, to have uh, Supreme Master TV then? Supreme Master TV? Yeah. Uh, no, that, uh, that's for my account. Uh, mm, you don't have to have anything <laughs> for my account. Same with money, <laughs> for my account too. <laughs> you don't have to pay anything. So, my question has two parts. How many points um, did we need to become a disciple of a nine-level master like you? Oh, like me? I say, if a nine-level master stay here, it's uh, like Jesus, Buddha status. And then they bless people that much, that much, okay? Mm. Sometimes you don't have to have a lot of spiritual points in order to be a disciple of a master. Maybe you were the enemy of the master, even. <laughs> That's why he came to rescue you, because nobody else can. The master has a variety of work and blessing, and way of contact with people. You don't always have to earn a lot to be a disciple. Last life, just even a glance is enough to free you, for example, or to come back as a disciple or a highly developed person. Or you have been robbing her houses, beating her up. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. They became disciples and sometimes very near. Well, the second part of my question was, what did we do in our previous lives to, um, to get this merit? I told you already. <laughs> you, check, you check yourself out what you did. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Because if I sit here and tell, it's a long story, everybody. I don't yeah. want... And some are good, some are bad, and do we want to spill all the beans here? And then 
Then later you look at him and say, oh, last time you beat Master away. Bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, love. Don't worry, you are my kids, you're fine. We did what we did, okay? And now we do what we do. Important is what we do now, okay? Not what we did, all right? Yes. Remember uh, one of the disciples of the Buddha, his uh, so-called master, the other teacher, you know, cheated him because uh, the, the wife of that master wanted this person very much. So she flirted with him, but this boy refused her and she got mad. So she torn her clothes and make it look like he's molesting her and then tell the master that he did. So the master get mad, you know angry and jealous, so tell him to go outside, cut 100 fingers, and then he can become a master like him, you know, become enlightened Buddha. So he listened to him because he was a very devoted disciple, just not a devoted master, <laughs> poor guy. Then he went cut 99 already. When he see the Buddha, he want to cut the last one to become a Buddha. No? And then the Buddha feel sorry for him and also rescue him, see, and explain it to him, and then make him become disciple. He was going to cut the fingers of the, the Buddha, you see, to complete 100 before noon. Yeah, and the Buddha forgave him still, hmm? okay, for example. Hello, Master, it's lovely to see you. Lovely. <laughs> Um, Master mentioned that we get merit points from doing good deeds and caring for animals. Uh, Master, do animals also get merit points from helping each other and helping humans? Yes, they do. Yes, they, they do. do. And one more question, part of my question. Do animals go to the same heaven with us or can they? All the animals go straight to heaven, no matter what and no matter where, okay? It, but depends on their merit also. When they go to heaven, they don't look like animal anymore. Okay? As soon as they die, leave the physical body, they, they went back to their original form, which is beautiful and glorious. Yeah? So if you go back to heaven, don't expect to see your dog there <laughs> wagging tail or <laughs> something like that. Okay? Yes. So all this saving the planet, it's because I feel sorry for the animal, of course, the way they're unjustly treated. But I'm not worried about where they go. I'm worried more about human, the one who treated them badly, where they will go. You see what I mean? All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Master. You're welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. Now that we know that we are short of zillions of points yes. to buy world peace, what can we do to help to obtain those points so that we can have world peace? Okay, don't worry, I'm taking care of that. Yeah, I don't oh, think you thank can. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Master. I have given as much as I have and as much as I'm allowed to give. And I ask to give more, or I'm not allowed to give more. So we just have to do a little bit at a time, you see? It's not always uh, possible to... It's okay, these days I already done it, okay? A couple of million short, I already fix it, yes. And we will see some glimpses of peace. But the whole human consciousness must also rise up to support this peaceful atmosphere. You see what I mean? Yes. Mm. So it's not like I don't want to give everything and I don't want to fix it right away. But it's not the point. You see? It's not the point to, to give your child whatever he wants so that he don't keep stamping his feet or breaking your furniture or smashing uh, dishes around. Do you understand me? Yes, Master. He has to also earn your love and earn the thing that he wants. Because the more you give him, the more you spoil him. And the more he wants more, and then he become a spoiled kid. It's not good for him either, and no good for you. And no good for yes. anyone else who is in contact with that kid. He make bad example, he might bully others, you see? He grown up being unloved, unwelcomed by everyone who encountered such a spoiled kid. Got it? Yes, Master. 
Suppose I fix this world, okay? And I give peace everywhere, okay? And they continue to have war with animals. Hmm? They harass the animals and then they create a new bad war karma again. Because they, they say, no, nothing happened. I eat animal every day, nothing happened to me. See what I mean? And then after long periods of time, and then they have war and then they don't relate anything uh, with the eating the animal or killing animal with that war. They think this eating animal is different because it don't happen right away. Not like they eat the chicken and then the war immediately starts next door. See what I mean? Yes, it has to have some time to accumulate enough bad energy to break out as a war again. And then they don't relate to it. They don't relate the two events together. And if anyone, even I or anyone, keep fixing peace in the war, it has to also do it slow as they earn it, as they grow up, you know? Just like you have children, you love children very much. But you can't buy your baby a Mercedes for him to drive. No, you buy first a plastic bicycle, no? Yes. <laughs> With four wheels so he don't, he don't fall and, and hurt himself. And then later you buy him a two-wheel bicycle, and then you buy him maybe a motorcycle, and then a small car, hmm? cheaper car first, for example, like that. Kavish? Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. I wish I could fix it immediately. I want to, but uh, it's not the way, it's not the mandate of heaven, okay? Yes. I have to work with the whole universe, not just with this world. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Fatal prion diseases transmissible through air or milk. Rabies, anthrax, sleeping sickness, Q fever, norovirus, swine flu, Ebola restin virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease, or Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease or PMWS. Listeriosis, shellfish poisoning. Preeclampsia, Campylobacter. Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32% with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least one trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Increased childhood cancers and adult reproductive cancers from hormones in meat. Colon rectal cancer. Over one million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer-related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Cowpox from milking cows. Bacterial microbes, pesticides, and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. 
breast, prostate, and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk, listeria, and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis, classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. For help quitting, please visit For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Dear Master, is there such thing as the collective spiritual po point? Like many people will sit together and get it? I mean a planet. Uh, uh, the as, whole. as a whole, uh, we have our planetary collective spiritual point. Do have, do have also. I'm sorry it sounds so trivial, but how many points that the planet has now and how many more do we need to retain this beautiful planet? Thank Oof, you, Master. Oh, it's very difficult to count now, so I, we just leave it like almost infinite, okay? A lot, a lot of zillions. Yes, a lot, 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 a lot of zillions. And how many more? A lot, 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 also more. Um, okay, whatever, yeah. <laughs> uh, for you, if you don't have this planet, you go to other planets, okay? We're saving it for other people. If we can, it's fine. If we cannot, also let it go. Let it be. Okay? Thank you. Mm. Thank you. The reason I wanted to save the planet, not just because to save the physical planet, but to save the people's consciousness, that they should rise up, that they should consider the environment for the future life generation, for the animals, you know, should have compassion. Okay? Saving the planet is just a catalyst to wake them up, huh? right? Because let's face it, even the physical life is short here anyway. Huh? So if they lose it, they lose it. But the point is to save souls. Right now I have enough merit to save half of the planet's soul already. I mean, if I don't have to give anything, then I would have saved the whole planet as well. But because of war, because of karma, because of animals, karma, you know, a lot of things I had to fix, like the house, not just the door broken, <laughs> the bathroom also leaking, the roof is leaking, see what I mean? And the yard is uh, overgrown, so it <laughs> takes <laughs> times and energy to fix different things at different time, okay? You guys, it's good enough that you take care of yourself, all right? <laughs> but you meditate, okay? Understand? <laughs> yes, and that is the helping also, okay? Because you, you bring also the peaceful atmosphere wherever you go, yes? And you make good example. It's also helping me in a way. You are helpful, very, very helpful. I'm very proud of you. Even when you dance and all that, I'm very proud. You know, like a grandma looking at grandkid. Wow, look at all that. I was very proud, okay? Knowing that you could even cook, could hand flyers, yeah, and then you could feed the people, feed the police, and you could dance as well, mm? okay, and sing, okay? Right. You don't have to, but whoever can do that is also extra, huh? Maybe a lot of points, you know, in a past life uh, to dance, you know? <laughs> Dear Master, yes. Can you by your spiritual points, if yes, to which extent? Um, or our bad karma can be erased or cleansed only by the inner sound? No, 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 no. At the time of initiation, whatever karma you had in the store, done. Okay? You're free, free soul. But you had a little bit of karma left so that you can exist on this planet or until you, you're gone. You see what I mean? That bad karma we cannot erase because if we erase, you die. You die before you reach a third level or second level or fourth level. You see what I mean? So the purpose of leaving little karma here 
to endure a little so that you have time to go up to the fifth, the four, yeah, understand me? All right. Now, but we can uh, not erase, but like minimize the bad karma. I told you already, at the time of initiation, like, for example, you're supposed to have a very bad, bad accident, you have it in a dream, yes? Or you have a smaller accident, yes? You have accident, for example, but you're not injured too much, you see what I mean? Or you recover very fast and doctor surprise, for example, like that. Okay? Yes. But if completely erase this fixed karma for your lifetime, then you have to go immediately. I mean, goodbye. <laughs> so you stay for a while to rise your level. Hmm? Because to practice in this world is very good, very fast, very meritorious. Okay? Mm. Thank you better, very much. Better Thank than you. other planet or other level of consciousness. Okay? Thank you. You know why? Because, for example, if you go even to astral level only, yeah? Remember many people who die like clinically dead and they came back and they tell how nice and beautiful heaven, similar to here but more beautiful. And people become young even though when they die they were old, or for example. This is just astral level. And they love so much that they don't want to come back here. And when they come here, they cry and cry and cry. You see what I mean? Mm. So, for example, if you are in that astral level, <laughs> you're so happy already, you don't want to meditate, nada. See what I mean? There's no motivation, no pushing force behind your meditation. Here you sometimes you feel fed up with family, you're heartbroken because of love affair, or you see people suffer, animals suffer, and your heart touch, you know? And, and you wish to do something to erase your sorrow, not just from yourself, but from the things that you see around you, you see? Or to give them some comfort by your spiritual wish, blessing wish, you see what I mean? So that is the motivation to do it. In heaven, everybody's so happy. You can't even remember what day it is, and, you know, you're just too busy enjoying. There's nothing to remind you of why you have to go anywhere else, you see what I mean? But astral level is not long-lasting. See, they don't know that. Uh, well, even they know, they don't care. See how, how we suffer in this world, but nobody cares about thinking of the future. Huh? See what I mean? Huh? Yeah. Even then, if you are happy in the astral level, for example, you don't want to practice nothing. Very difficult to practice there. You think in this world it's difficult to practice because you're busy, because of so much sorrow. You should go have an <laughs> astral level and you see how more difficult it is. Because there's no, no point, you know, like no motive yeah, to do that. Okay. Hello, Master. Hello. Thank you very much. Um, it seems with every conference, the recent conferences, that um, humans are getting more and more opportunity to get more blessing. Um, and also the blessing seems to be stronger and more powerful. Um, is this correct, Master? Yes, it is correct also. Correct also. But it cannot go on forever like this. If human is so stubborn and don't wake up, then, then you know, yeah, right. That is to help human to, to get more strength to wake up and to do things, to save themselves, save the planet. But if they don't, then uh, they lost everything. Yeah. Um, it seems then the universe is um, blessing a lot more and it has opened up to more blessings? No, it's, it has always the same, but it's just uh, perhaps stronger now because we need it, that's all. Okay. And, and so that's an opportunity for ourselves and for the planet to save ourselves yeah. at this time? Yes. Yes, because it's urgent, so heaven also help. You know, I pray for them to help also, yes. Yeah, I say human is beautiful, you know? Not to condemn, but to help, right? Because they're truly beautiful, you know? First, they're not well informed. Second, the one who knows don't want to inform because of uh, uh, financial gain, you know, prestige gain, a, a political gain, anything at all. Anybody think for themselves. And don't realize that if we lose the planet, uh, also them gone. See what I mean? But very difficult to talk to a human mind. Yeah. Hello, Master. Hi. 
Um, you were saying that Kuan Yin practitioners uh, receive more uh, blessings from, for example, uh, angels, anywhere, uh, yes, plants, wind and air. Yes. Uh, do we need to be aware of these blessings to receive it? No, no, no. Just remember to thank them. Mm. Okay. Yes. So, you you are not aware, but you feel it sometimes. That's why you know, like. You don't know it, but when you say you go in the forest and sit, you feel very good. You blame it on oxygen. You see? It's not always oxygen, yes. And if you go emerge yourself in the sea and you feel so good, so relaxed, and you blame it on the water. <laughs> it is water, but it's more than just physical. You see? People love to go to the mountain, walk around. Why? What's the difference between the mountain and the flatland? It's just more difficult to walk. But they feel better there. Yeah. See what I mean? Yes, okay. Yes. Blessing power. So don't say you're not aware. You just don't think it's a blessing. You see? And when you go into fresh air area, less uh, crowded people, and less polluted area, and you breathe in, breathe out, you feel so good because of the pure air that bless you, okay? And when you sit in the sun, you feel suddenly more ideas come, yes? Or even more relaxed and more easy to meditate also when the sun is warming, not too hot, of course. You see, that is a blessing. But because we are born in this physical body, which is so coarse, so coarse, you know, so rough, that even so powerful blessing, <laughs> we feel just like, oh, I just relax, or I'm just sleepy. See what I mean? Yes. Yes, Master. Yeah. So people who were born or live in a, a very bright, sunny country, they're a little bit relaxed, more relaxed. We say they're lazy. It's not like that. <laughs> they're just relaxed, too relaxed, okay? Don't care too much about material gain, that's why. They could not think too much in that direction, okay? But they're blessed that way. You know, rather poor and happy than rich and worry. A lot of rich people, they worry so much and they're cranky all day. You know, number one, because they worry about their money, whether the stock is going down or up. Number two, they worry people come and steal it or eyeing on their property or maybe something bother, or maybe something wrong, you know. Or business, somebody might try to get them down, uh, finding some fault with their business or something like that. They worry all the time. And another thing is that other people bugging them because they have money. So they always come and bothering. So they have to always hide or avoid people, you know. So their life is not all natural all the time, yes? They always have to avoid certain people, yeah? Not like the poor people has nothing to lose. They're always happy-go-lucky, you know? <laughs> And uh, another one, because they're rich, they have to keep the appearance, you know? And so they need a driver, they need a butler, they need a housekeeper, they need a cleaner, they need a babysitter, they need all kind of things. And they have to rely on all these people in order to look rich and <laughs> high societies, yeah? To look prestigious, yeah? And to be dependent on anyone, even your servant, is a uh, pain in the you-know-where. <laughs> it's not good. We are not born to be dependent. That's why most of us are born alone and die alone, because God wants us to be independent. But if you're rich, you mostly have to be dependent. You understand me? Yeah. You're not used to washing your own clothes, you know, iron, and then after a while you forget. And... But the way the rich people are like that, you know, you don't iron your own clothes, you don't clean your own house, you have to rely on people, that's normal. See what I mean? The more servants you have, the more headache. Because two people don't ever think together, no. No telepathy, you know, you don't go very well together. You have to always tell people what to do, and they don't always do it the way you want. And then you always don't feel well, you know, feel angry, feel frustrated. See what I mean? And if you scold the servant, and they might sue you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Mm. Yes. It's not very good position to be rich and famous. Do not earn any point for that. <laughs> I'm just telling that, you know? 
so that people know, okay, if they are famous because they have earned it, uh, should try to keep it, you know? Or if they are pretty because they have earned it. If they don't continue, they might deplete their bank account, spiritual bank account. See what I mean? Just to encourage them to think more inside, to meditate more, you see? To think, uh, to thank all the blessing they have and calm down, you know? Not too much uh, excited and not too grappy about material things. That's the reason I tell people, okay? Not to encourage you to earn hundred zillion so that you can be a president of the United States, <laughs> for example. <laughs> you are aware, especially the practitioner, Kuan Yin practitioner, even you think you don't aware, but you are aware. It's just you don't think about it, that's all. It's better to be aware also, be conscious, you know? Every time you're breathing, you're conscious that you're blessed. Thank the air. Whenever you can, you thank, you know? Or you thank in the morning and again in the evening before you meditate, before you sleep, or after you meditate, after you sleep, whatever, okay? Just remember to thank, okay? The more you thank, the more you have. The more you're grateful, the more you get. The more you're conscious, the better you feel. Hmm? It's just like if you have money but you don't feel like you have money, then you, you cannot feel too rich and too proud, you see what I mean? But if you're aware that you have money, you feel more confident, no? Yeah, for example, like that, huh? Okay. Hello, Master. Hello. We are very happy to see you again. Mm. Uh, there are two parts in my questions. The first question, the first part is, you mentioned that the ninth level blessed disciples 30,000%. Could you explain more? Why? <laughs> is there anything to explain? You could explain. <laughs> Just enjoy an extra 30,000 points. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Is that good enough? <laughs> oh my God, of course, a nine level master, they bless you more, no? So you expect him to bless you like three points or something? <laughs> what do you mean by explaining more? What else do you want to know? Why he bless you so much or what? It was just, just uh, curiosity that okay. why. Okay, no, no, no. It's just like the sun gives you warm, yes? And the water gives you coolness. It's just a natural of the master of the ninth level. Okay? okay? <laughs> just like the natural of the dog, he's very loyal. Huh? All right. Uh, the second part is, uh, do all disciples receive this blessing equally? Yes, equally, equally, but it depends on how high she or he is also. The master gives equally. Just like the sun give equally. But some people go into the house to hide. Some people get the umbrella to cover, huh? So he don't feel that hot. Okay? The sun give equal warmth as provided you in the same equal area, huh? Okay? Mm. So I suppose that this happens every day? Every day. Okay. All right. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. You see, that's why I told you, even the Master blessed 30,000%. But the, the people outside, the people who are not Kuan Yin practitioners, and the people who eat meat and drink alcohol, and that, they get only 3%, more or less, even less even. They give the same, but they don't get it. Number one, because they eat meat and all that, is discounted. Number two, this meat alcohol is like building a wall to, to obstruct them to get the, the blessing, yeah? Just like if it's rain but you had an umbrella, then you get a little less wet, huh? okay? Or you in the house, you get less wet than when you're outside. And when you wear a raincoat, less than when you don't wear a raincoat. Huh? The people who eat meat, drink alcohol and all that, they wear a raincoat and stick themselves in a room all the time so the damp air can get in a little bit, the damp air, you know? The air from the rain coming, but not the rain. See what I mean? So they don't get wet, maybe a little coolness. Huh? Uh, the skin feel cool and damp, or the clothes a little bit damp, but they don't get wet like when you are in the, in the rain and run around in it, okay? Yeah. So the disciples get more, because we connect it. You see what I mean? Connection. And you're on a higher level also. The higher level you are, 
the more blessing you get. Yeah? Anything high, anything light goes upwards, you see? Same, same with spiritual quality. Okay. Thank you, Mas. You're welcome. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.3 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. In Australia alone, 70% of adults are negatively impacted by another's drinking, with 43% affected by physical or verbal abuse. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' alcohol and drug use. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion U.S. dollars in the United States, up to 210 to 665 billion U.S. dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum. Liver disease. Cardiovascular disease. Mental toxicity. Brain damage. Amnesia and dementia. Brain shrinkage. Organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes. Birth defects, children afflicted by anxiety and depression, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stented growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage. Alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases. Violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases. Violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases. Suicides, 20 to 50% of cases. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Hi, Master. Hi. I'm over here. Over there, yeah. <laughs> I had a question about the animals. At the gala, you mentioned the birds, and the bigger the bird, the more blessing power that it had. And that seemed to relate to the research by Richard Green, who was talking about, like, Albert Einstein. Oh, the matter. The matter. And power of the matter. Right. Yes. And so do the bigger animals bring more blessing power? Well, they do. As a matter of fact, I tell you, the elephant bless you how much, you see? Forty. And the dog bless you less, you see that? And the whales bless you equally as much you know, more or less as elephant. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if size does matter or not, but it's like that. It's like that, yeah. So maybe I have less blessing than you because you're bigger than me. <laughs> if you become a master, you bless hugely, hugely, double. <laughs> and hurry up, huh? You, all the fat guy there, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Master. Yeah, hi. I like your hair. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the blessing power of the moon, the stars, the water, the air, does have the same specifics as the sun? And um, what would be the best hour to meditate? Oh, please meditate at night when the stars and the moon comes out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think so? <laughs> you see the sun... In the daytime, then you meditate in daytime, huh? If you want to have blessing from the moon and the star, then you wait until the time that comes out, huh? Or should you meditate in the day and wait for the, the moon to bless you, huh? Okay. Another question, Master. Yeah. These elements give us as much uh, blessings as the sun, the moon, the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told you how much already that day, right? Yeah, okay. Thank you, Master. Mm. The full moon bless more, eh? Okay. Um, Master, I have a question about living with nature, and you've already answered part of this, and there's an extra element too. But now that we know the benefit of uh, the natural world, mm. will humanity evolve to living in villages again, back with nature? 
And also, the other part of that, will we all move to sunny countries now? <laughs> <laughs> if you can, why not? Mm? If you can, why not? Human evolve or not, that's uh, out of my control. Mm? Human are God, you see? And they don't use the God nature, they use their willpower, that's a problem. But okay, we shall be patient. I do my best, whatever happened, happened, truly. What can I do? I cry enough already, now I don't cry anymore. If they live in a village or not live in the village, it doesn't really matter because they always have the sun or the air. The air bless you, the water bless you, hmm? the gardens even bless you, the earth you walk bless you. Everything bless you, and the animals around you bless you. The wild animals nearby bless you. See what I mean? Yes. That's why people love to go out in nature, watching birds and feeling good, and they don't even know why. Yes? And go into the sea, bath, feeling good, don't even know why. Feel better than in the swimming pool, don't even know why. Huh? Okay. And go in the river, bath in river, feeling good, don't know why. Go into the forest, walk around all day, tired but feel good, don't know why. Huh? Oxygen. <laughs> Everything in this world, they relate it to material existence. Yes. Even a little bit non-material like oxygen, but it's still in material dream. Yeah, they don't think anything more than that, okay? Nobody ever told them actually, have they? Anyone? Or the master don't? No. Ah, that's the problem. They just tell you, protect the animals, don't eat them. Protect the tree, protect the forest, but don't tell them why, that's why. Normally I also did not tell why, but I thought it's better tell them, no? People always like to know why, why, why. <laughs> and if that helps, then it's good, okay? Hmm. All right. Maybe other masters also did not know. They don't research into this area, okay? Uh, thanks, Master. Walking barefoot, what's that worth to us? Because the earth, more direct contact, okay? If you want to, but to walk barefoot in the house is good enough, see? No need to walk outside. I don't know what element will come into your foot <laughs> apart from the blessing. <laughs> Nowadays they drink the broke glasses everywhere. I'm not responsible, huh? <laughs> Do what you want, okay? But whenever you walk barefoot in the house, don't you feel nice? Yes. You see? You yes. don't even know why. Yes. Now you know. Oh? Or you walk barefoot in your yard. No? You feel good? Yes. Yeah. All the masters in the past, they don't wear shoes. And people think they renunciate it. It's not only that, they feel good. Okay? The more contact with the earth. Hmm? The earth bless you a lot. <laughs> Everything bless you. We are born to be blessed. We are blessed children. Every day we should feel happy even if we don't have money. Yes, to be human, to be healthy, you know, to have something. That is such a blessing already, yeah? And if you have a good master, a good method to practice, that's extra blessing, huh? And now you know the sun blessing, the moon blessing, this, oh God, are you spoiled? So spoiled, yes. <laughs> It's logical. You don't have to believe me because I'm a master, not because I'm the master that you should believe me. <laughs> you see, when the sun comes out or the sun sunny, you feel good, no? Yes, yes okay. Yes. All right, that's a blessing. Even if you don't know spiritually, you know it's good for you, okay? The moon. People just gaze at the moon all the time, and when the moon comes out, they love it. They like to sit in the Balcony, look at the moon, just one little round thing. <laughs> Why keep looking? Why lie to look at it? Wait for the moon to come up and looking and drinking tea and looking at the moon all day, all night. And why? They don't even know why. But I told you why. See? So it's logical, okay? Not because I'm a master that you should believe me. Just check it out. <laughs> 
Actually, I also did not think telling you all this. I thought you all know. <laughs> yeah, but then I asked the moon if you know this. No. I asked the sun if my disciple know anything, but no. okay, then I tell him. <laughs> Hello, Master. Hello. Hi. Um, Master mentioned that wild animals such as beavers and squirrels bless us, mm -hmm. but do we need to be close to them or near them in person in order to receive this blessing, or can we receive it um, psychologically or on the same... A remote control. Mm. If they have a remote control, they can bless you, okay. <laughs> like TV, you know? <laughs> of course, the nearer is better, of course. But the thing is, everywhere you have wild animals, except you live in big city, too bad. Huh? But then you have the air, the sun, you see? You, you see, that's why the God makes animals everywhere, so that in every village, every city is supposed to have different animals to bless you in that area. So you don't have to travel from here to New York to get blessing from the beaver, <laughs> for example, you see what I mean? But we destroy everything to build big houses, and we kill all the wild animals. We're killing ourselves. So look at our world now. The more we kill, the more we deplete it. And the more we are in danger now. And still don't listen. You know, we do our best. But if they listen, they do. If they don't, they don't. Huh? I don't have any more expectation. I truly could not expect any more. Whatever, okay? After this period we've done our best, then we just uh, concentrate more on meditation, okay? I don't really want you to sacrifice too much. You have to meditate for yourself and give some to the world if you want to. I also need to meditate. If I'm not here, I meditate a lot, a lot, a lot. Point. <laughs> Zillions. <laughs> so that I can give. Hmm? Israel, having Hope now, see? Afghanistan, at least. Everything hopeful. And you see? You look. What TV? You know it? At least the Supreme Master television, you know? We report yes. here and there all the yes. time, yes. Even uh, Israel and Palestine, Prime Minister talk together now, see? We will help each other. Because last time, Palestine helped them with the fire. And now, Israel and Palestine say, oh, we, we make a pact, we, we help each other now. See what I mean? Isn't that nice? Yes, uh. yes, yes. It has to start somewhere, huh? Okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, and now the egg can come in, Palestine already, for example? Huh? Okay. The blessing that animals give us, do they bless us automatically, or is there something that we uh, humans uh, can do to help them? Or do they uh, withhold their blessing, like how Master said, that your dogs uh, do not give blessings to everyone? Do, but less, less than to me. It's just automatic, yes? Uh, there's a portion of automatic that they do give anyway, generally. But there's a portion, they give more extra to someone they love or someone who loves them or care of them. See what I mean? Yes. yes Just like you help maybe some orphan in the world, or children in a poor country, but you take care extra with your children. You see? It's natural. Hmm? Natural. My dogs bless me more also because they're vegan. They have more power. And also because they love me so much. Okay? <laughs> Birds also bless more than usual, more than other birds, yes, and more than other birds to other people, and more than my bird to other people, okay. Yeah, all right. But they do bless, huh? Yeah. The one who help take care of them, they do bless. Yes? Hi, Master. Hi. Do each of us have blessings to give? Um, or is there a minimum amount of spiritual points that we have to have in order to give blessings to others? Mm, okay. You mean the disciples or you mean outside? To everyone, to anyone. Okay. Normal people have no blessing to give anybody. If they don't take it, you're lucky already. Is this a pity? They have power inside to bless. Right. But they don't awaken it, you see? They cover it. Yeah, by doing the, the opposite direction, 
of their nature, you know, killing, warring, partaking indirectly in killing, like eating meat or supporting war, for example, like that. They cover themselves. Right. See what I mean? Uh, so human rarely can bless any human except physical help. But you, the Kuan Yin spiritual practitioner, more or less you help, depends on your level, of course. At your second level, you bless less than when you are third level. Right. Okay? You have to have a certain point to go to third level already anyway, so we no need to count that, okay? Yes. Okay. And if you fall level, you bless more, huh? I see. That's okay. why I say, please hurry up, no <laughs> fat people. <laughs> more blessing, bigger, you know? <laughs> yeah. European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, Excellent the climate, climate committee change. of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. The European Parliament has adopted its own position on climate change as an institution and as a vice president. One of the proposals I have made is in line with your own, which is that we should eat far less meat because that's one of the major sources of greenhouse gases. We know that uh, the agriculture and uh, the meat uh, production is one of the main cause of gas emission. And so it's very clear that the ratio per habitant of meat has to decrease. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg. Go green to save the planet. Okay. Yeah. When we give blessings to others, do we lose spiritual points? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. It's like money. You can't give and keep at the same time. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, but you have to conscientiously do it. Otherwise, uh, normally it's also automatically some point, you see? Deduction, because we share this planet, you see what I mean? We walk the same road, yes? you like a, a pot, you know, everybody put a little bit in, yeah? It's just automatic. For example, like I sit here, I don't give you anything particularly physically or obviously, huh? or materially, but you like it so much, you love me. It's just automatic, okay? The same uh, when you practice, like one in practitioners, or the higher you are, everywhere you go, you just bless people. People just feel comfortable with you. Right. Mm. And they, they cannot help but having some points from you, yes, even though you don't give, yeah? But there are portions you give also conscientiously, huh? Yeah. By consent. That is different. Like, for example, if I want to give some region, you know, some leaders, so that they start to alter their pattern of karma, the structure of karma inside them, so that they can think peace, yes? They can get out of the cycle of, of violence. I have to consent, say, I do give. The whole universe must know that. And the God, the deity who oversee my spiritual bank account, just like a bank manager, no? Must know it. I must tell him, yes, I do give, I want to. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's not like uh, anybody just can take it from you. It's not like that, no. A little bit, okay, yes. For example, you put money in the bank, yes? The bank invests it for you. But from your money, they also do something with it. You see what I mean? Without you even having to say anything. But at the same time, they make interest for you too. But they also have to invest your money in other projects. See? The part automatic and the part not. See? And from your money, if you want to give to charity, you have to write a check. Yeah? Or you take our money and give. 
by your consent. Okay? Okay. Sp spiritual points like that also. Nothing complicated in the universe. <laughs> it's always the same. Okay, thank hmm? you. Yes. Hello, Master. Hello. I've been curious about uh, stories in the Bible and other religions yes. uh, related to hair. 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 Ah, yes, tell me. There is, uh, there is stories uh, of Samson uh, who's Cut even hair. had, yeah, had and then a, became, uh, a lot of strength um, to protect his country as long as he doesn't cut his hair. Mm -hmm. And even the Sikhs uh, don't cut their hair. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious as to, is there any significance? Yeah. Hair bless you also 5%. Uh, Long yeah. hair. <laughs> Long hair. About my length, you get 5% more spiritual point, extra. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Yeah, I forgot to tell the delegate, but I don't think they're going to grow their hair long to, <laughs> to go to the COP17, no? <laughs> the ball guy, I feel sorry. <laughs> don't worry, you wear a wig. <laughs> yeah, okay? <laughs>